What is up fam? My name is Semrold and this is going to be a quick video. I haven't given love to you future base subscribers, so I wanted to give you guys a cool little hack that you guys can do. If you can do this in FL and Logic, please make sure to leave a comment below on how to do it in those respective DOS. All right guys, so what we're going to do really fast here and my camera might die doing this, so sorry if you don't see my beautiful face anymore. Uh, so, what we're going to do is just make a quick little sound that we're going to mess with. You know, let's get here just, you know, a filter, open that up, a little bit of attack. And there we go. We got like a standard sound. Let's add a bit of release too. I love release. All right, cool. Now, the trick that we're doing, guys, is we're going to be using the MIDI effects inside of Ableton in a very strategic way to get really cool things out of this. So, the first one we need is the chord, and then the second one we need is the scale. Now, these two are going to work in conjunction with each other, and they're going to provide you this powerful hack, you know, this hack that I want to teach you guys today. So, we know that a chord will be made up of three notes. You can say it can go up even more, but most people know it as three notes, right? Now, I want you guys to put in your favorite chord. It could be, you know, whichever one you want. I'm going to go with the G minor, for instance, here. And the G minor chord is going to be this one, the G, A sharp, and then the D. Now, if you count how many notes it takes to get to the next note between these, you're going to come up with a few um, semitones, as many would call it. So a semitone would be just going up, 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 blah, blah. So here, if we're in G, we're going to go one semitone, two semitone, three to get to the next key in the chord. And then again, one semitone, two semitones, three semitones, four now, four plus three, that's seven plus. Knowing that... If we get rid of this now, we can input in the chord feature here how many semitones we want it to go up on shift 2. So let's say here I choose uh, plus 3 for the first note, up, and then let's say I plus 7. Now, if I were to play right now, let's say, you know, a, a G. You can see this is telling pretty much Ableton that I want to play all these notes. A sharp and then the D. So this gives me a chord, so now I can be like jamming. But notice what happens, it sounds very Chicago-ish because it, not all the notes are going to follow this one, not all the chords are. So that's when the scale comes in handy because now if we go into scale and load up the C minor preset there, we're going to have that. We're going to go over to, let's say, a G here. And now when we play it, It's going to give us the chords that we want. Now, let's say that we want to take this even more creative because some people are going to say, oh, that's that's cheating sound. What the hell? Um, you can make different variations. You don't have to follow that rule. For instance, you can do a plus 12 semitones and then you can maybe have a, a 19, for instance. <laughs> Now, why do I think this technique is so useful? Well, a lot of the times, a lot of people are not going to be able to be on the piano playing like five notes at once and then be able to jam out and move all over just doing it this way. You know, it's hard. And, you know, as music goes further, as music production, as, as techniques, you know, like little plugins come out, it makes life easier for people that want to be able to just play chords and jam out to find out a really catchy chord kind of progression that just doesn't follow that. Okay, I'm going to change the chord every every bar one bar is one two three and four we, what if we want to do duh, 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 you know but we want that to be chords and this is the fastest way of doing stuff that's why i consider this hack very useful as well as for people that just don't don't you know how do you say it? like they don't understand theory as well so with this technique we're going to be able to jam out let's say here i just leave it at zero i you know i like it at set plus seven and plus 12 here because it just sounds beautiful let's do here plus 19 and plus 12 maybe and it's going to give us like Now if we go here. Anyways, the sky's the limit with this, guys. Hopefully you guys have fun with this. I just wanted to show you guys this little hack. And hopefully if you guys find it useful, you use it. Make sure to leave a like. And again, if you know a way to do this inside of, you know, FL Studio Logic or any other DAW, make sure to leave a comment so people can see. And hopefully they can do it as well. Anyways, and just take care. You guys have a good one. Peace out.